Hi, I'm Tracy Barnes Priestley. This week on What's on Your Bucket List. A spirited woman tries her hand giving a haircut to a very cooperative four-legged beast. Then, a curious grandma and her good-natured granddaughter realize a dream come true that has a very tasty ending. Coming up next on What's on Your Bucket List. We traveled south to the beautiful pastures of Ferndale and the Foggy Bottoms Boys Farm, where I sat down with our first enthusiastic guest. We are here on one of those days at Humboldt. It's gloriously sunny, it's warm, and I'm very happy to introduce you to my guest, Beth Jin. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Beth has perhaps one of my uh, most fascinating requests. Beth, what are we doing today? We're shearing a sheep. We are we going are. to shear a sheep. Yes. Where does that even come from, Beth? <laughs> you know, I really don't know. I've never been around a sheep. I've never sheared a sheep, never seen a sheep sheared, mm -hmm. except on videos, but I haven't done it before. Yeah. So why not? <laughs> Why not? That's that's what I love. Now, when we met, uh, we do a little pre-production interview, and when we met, you said that the life you're living now is probably pretty different from what you were living even 10, 15 years ago. What's yes. the difference? Well, I've decided to be me. Okay. You know, before I, I was a parent, I was a mom, I was a wife, and I was what everybody expected me to be. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't me. Okay. So when the kids left home, I decided, it's my time. Yeah. So I started taking art classes and traveling by myself and uh -huh. kind of doing silly, crazy things. And I'm having a ball. <laughs> but what other kind of things have you been enjoying? Well, I tell you, um, I always wanted to be a mermaid. I'm afraid of water. So my husband took me to the pool with my flippers on and goggles and everything, trying to get me to do water. But I couldn't do it. So I found a place in Hawaii that did a photo shoot on the beach in a, <laughs> in a mermaid suit. I have a greater respect for mermaids now because that tail is heavy. <laughs> and what would you say to, to other, to our viewers? Because, you know, part of my reason for doing this show is to encourage people to get out of their comfort zone. What do you think you've learned by risking a little bit more? There are so many things out there. So many things that we always say, oh, I can't do that, or I'm afraid, or what are people gonna say, or I'll do that tomorrow. But you don't have to, you don't know if you have tomorrow. That's right. You don't. Yeah. So if an opportunity comes up, or make your own opportunity and just, just yeah. do something fun and crazy. Yeah. Well, now, if I remember correctly, you had a big health scare a couple I years did. ago. I did. Two years ago, I had a stroke. Mm. Not fun, but <laughs> yeah. I'm here today. Here you are. Mm -hmm. And what did that do to your outlook? It basically changed the timeline for everything. Uh -huh. um, I may have another stroke tomorrow. I don't know. But today, I can do something. And today? And today, I'm shearing a sheep. Before meeting the lucky sheep, I spoke with Cody Nicholson Stratton, a sixth generation farmer. Cody filled me in on the rich history of their farm and also described their very busy operation. So our family farm started in 1860. Whoa. Uh, yeah, my grandmother's family immigrated from Denmark and settled on Cock Robin Island, which is at the mouth of the Eel River. You know, when you move from a wee wet, cold island, you uh -huh. settle on a wee wet cold island, wow. of course. And then in the 1920s, my grandfather's family started dairying here uh -huh. um, with six head of jerseys. And our entire herd of 100 cows today is based off of those original six cows. They are direct, direct descendants? descendants. Oh yes. my gosh, that's so, impressive. Yeah, so we've kept a really strong family line of our uh -huh. cows. So today we have a family operation where there's four generations working on the farm at any given time. We sell grass-fed beef and lamb, pastured eggs, 
and then organic milk uh, all goes to Rumiano cheese to be made into cheese, butter, ghee, wow. as well as lactose for organic baby formula uh -huh. and whey protein. And you also host events here at the farm, is we that do. right? We host tours as well as dinners, and then we also do um, educational events. We're really trying to give everyone a place where they can connect with food and fiber. Well, and I do thank you today because I know you've made some special accommodations with your friend and, and it is really wonderful that we're gonna make this happen for it's our guests. It's been our pleasure. We're really looking forward to it. Today would not be possible without this gentleman, <laughs> Cody Kinsman, thank you so much. Cody is our sheep shearing expert, correct? That's right. I spent <laughs> a lot of years doing this. So. Now, it's not your day job. Right? No, I, I teach school in the wintertime and by summer I recoup and regenerate my brain so that I can get back in the groove in this fall. That's so. great. That's Well, thank you for teaching. It's an important profession. Thanks. I enjoy it. How did you become a sheep shearer? When I was a little kid, we had horses and every type of critter you could imagine. My dad really liked the, the fast-paced, high-spirited horses. Oh. And I was sick of getting bucked off, so I said, Dad, I'm getting a sheep. <laughs> and it's all history from there. So, Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I just kind of fell in love with it, and it became a 4-H and FFA project. Okay. I want to thank you for coming all the way from Oregon to help us today. I know it is it is your summer vacation, so thank you so much, Cody, and let's go shear a sheep. Okay, let's right. do it. Finally, it was time for Beth to check sheep shearing off of her bucket list. Okay, here we ready? go. I am ready. <laughs> I don't know You're if the sheep is. I don't know either, but we're going to meet Cody and the sheep. Does she have a name? <laughs> she does not. Oh, oh, oh. Cody, this is our guest, Beth. And Hi. Hi, Cody. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Well, we're going to have a little Hi, demo Hi. first. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and get her Sounds great. ready? Is this her first time? Yes. Wow. <laughs> her first time, my first I know. time. <laughs> Have you ever cut one? Yes, that happens. Um, it's not something I like. I really hate it, actually, because I am empathetic towards them. They didn't ask to be sheared, but for health concerns and, and flock management, we keep them shorn so that they'll be healthy and gain weight and be fertile. If they get too much, if they don't get sheared for a long time, does that hurt them? Yes, it's best practice to keep them shorn once, if not twice a year. Wow, look at That's that. That's a different color. I know. And that discoloration, the yellow pattern, uh -huh. is called lanolin. Lanolin oh, is the is natural right? oil. And it's in lotion, it's in cosmetics. Yeah. It's... It doesn't take that long, does it? I'm slow. There are, there are much faster He's slow. shearers. I know. <laughs> there are much faster shearers out there. I take a lot of pride in getting a nice job done so that the sheep can look their best. Um, and that slows me down, but everyone has all their legs and all their, their body parts <laughs> that they started with. Look at her. Are you happy now? <laughs> oh, such a pretty little girl. Oh, look at the difference. I bet you weigh a lot less, but you can just go <laughs> springing around. Yeah, she's a cutie. What a cutie. All righty. Well, thank you. And now, are you ready? Yes. Your turn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I hope the sheep forgives me. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're fine. There you go. Good job. That's what they like. They just need calm soothing. They're like the sheep whisperer. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Probably more nervous than you are. <laughs> Cody first sheared the most challenging parts of the sheep, the head and the belly. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Me or the sheep? <laughs> Both of you. So, her belly and her cheeks are done. So now we're going to hand them off to you and you're going to jump in. Where's Go, it? Beth. How do you turn if it you on? If you have questions, yep, right here. <laughs> if you have questions, I'm here. And you just try and feed into the fleece slowly and drive straight back. 
Good. Good. And you'll want to keep the, sh the tips of the shears flat against her skin so that you're getting it all in one pass. There you go. Yeah, you've still got some to go. Yeah. Sorry, Sheepy. She's fine. Yeah, yeah, go back. So really focus on, here, can we hold it at the same time? You hold it and I'll hold it. Okay. Oh, you're getting closer to her. There we go. See how we're really getting in? Oh. And we go, 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 go. Is it what you thought it might be like? No. I what? didn't know what I thought. You didn't have any because you've never done this before. That's right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep, drive all the way towards your head. You're doing great. Okay, and then... Good. I'm pulling the skin around from her elbow or her armpit, and then she'll... You're up much nicer. Gorgeous. <laughs> like I said, the first Fine. sheep I Did ever shared. I, I want to see that picture. A little strikely in spots. But... You're all done. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> she looks good, but I'm tired. It's great. What do you think? She looks amazing. Good job. You lie a lot. But no. She, she looks better than she did. All right, so we've checked it off your bucket list. Yes, we have. What do you think? What was it like? I'm so glad I did it. Are you? I am. Because. I am because I hadn't done it before and I had no clue how difficult it was and what hard work it is and how brave these little sheep are. <laughs> but well, yes, I enjoyed it. Yeah, all right. Great. Cody, I want to thank you. You're a great teacher. You really, thank you can you. tell what you do for a living because you're a really you good teacher. Much. And Cody, thank you for having yes. us. It wouldn't thank have you. happened without you. And I think you have a little Yeah, something. well, since I learned that you are learning to knit, I think it's only appropriate that you have some yarn not from only from our farm, but from this breed of sheep in particular oh, that you just shared. Look at that. I'm gonna knit me a sheep. You look should. <laughs> knit look me a little that. sheep. <laughs> awesome, thank you. You're Final welcome. Product. Thank you. See, it almost looked like you. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your bucket list? Come on. Uh. <laughs>